My name is David Fleming, and this is the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel. In this series, Learning to Pray Like Jesus, we've been studying the Lord's Prayer from Matthew chapter 6. And this week, we've been looking specifically at Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, where Jesus told us to pray, Give us today our daily bread. Now, today we're going to talk about why it's so important for us as followers of Jesus to have a proper and balanced view towards God's provision. What do I mean? Well, let me explain. Throughout Christian history, there have been two extremes concerning the provision of the Lord. There is an extreme view towards poverty, and then there is an extreme view towards prosperity. Let's talk about poverty first. Now, many religious orders in the Catholic Church take a vow of poverty. They feel that they must, in order to please the Lord, renounce all personal property. But it's not just seen in the Catholic Church. For many years, Christians had believed that poverty was necessary to be spiritual. This was especially seen among the uh, Pentecostals of the early 1900s. But there's also a very extreme view towards prosperity. Today, some Christians believe that wealth is a sign of spirituality. For many years, this teaching became popular among Pentecostals, and it became known as the prosperity gospel. But let me tell you, Scripture is clear. Christians are not to pursue the wealth of this world. Your wealth is not a sign of God's blessing upon you. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21 tells us, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So what is this balanced view that we should have towards our finances? Well, the purpose of God's provision is to provide for his people and to advance his kingdom. Now, if you are in financial straits, then yes, ask the Lord to help you get out of this financial bind that you're in. Pray that the Lord would bless you, and I believe that he will. He's going to show you a way out. Now, it's not necessarily going to be easy, but the Lord's going to make a way for you. But you know, there are those whom it seems that everything that they touch is financially blessed. And so what are they to do? Are they supposed to look down upon themselves because they have become wealthy? Of course not. But they should ask themselves this question. Why has the Lord blessed me in this way for? I mean, what is the kingdom purpose for this wealth? Remember this. No matter what your financial situation is, you're responsible to steward it well. So if you are just eking out a living, it seems like you're living from paycheck to paycheck, then steward that paycheck well and ask the Lord to help you out of your financial dilemma. But if you have been blessed with great financial wealth, steward it well and become a great blessing to God's kingdom. Let me share with you one I believe is a biblical and balanced view towards the provision of the Lord. First of all, pray. Pray concerning your needs and the needs of others. Remember, the, the Lord's Prayer says, give us this day our daily bread. You're not just praying about your own financial needs. You're praying for the financial needs of others. So you pray and then you plan. There are going to be times when the Lord chooses to meet our needs on a daily basis. But we are also taught to prepare. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6 says, Go to the ant, you sluggards, consider its ways and be wise. And then there's Proverbs 30 verse 25. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. So the Bible not only teaches us to pray about our daily needs, but it also teaches us to prepare for the future. So we pray, we plan, and then provide. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11 tells us, you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. So, brothers and sisters, if you have been blessed with financial wealth, 
then ask the Lord, Lord, how can I be a blessing to your kingdom? Remember, the balanced view towards uh, biblical provision is pray, plan, and provide. And as you do, God's going to make you a blessing to others and to his kingdom. I'll see you tomorrow.